The following video is designed to show you how to calibrate the pixels with the QEngine cameras either in QCapture Pro or Image Pro Plus. Once you've acquired a calibration slide image, which I have showing on my desktop, these small divisions are 20 microns, this distance is 100 microns, and I've labeled what objective I acquired it with. So now I want to do the calibration. If I go to Measure, Calibration, Spatial, I'm going to select New, and I'm going to highlight this and say 10x OBJ for Objective and Metric, which is the calibration. I'm not going to apply it yet. I'm going to make the system calibration, and from here I can make it microns. If I click Image, you'll see this little hat, this bell bar came up. If I left-click my mouse button, I can pull this down, and I can put the first little box towards the first edge. Then I'm going to hold my mouse over the second box and drag it to the second edge. Like edge to like edge is what you always want to do. If you'll notice down here, this shows you the grayscale. This is a grayscale image 8-bit, which is how you should capture these. If I go to the black, it's towards 0. If I go to the white, it's going to be towards 225. So my goal is to position this on the edge. Note the value down here was 74, and to try to match this as best I can up on the other side. Then I have to count. This is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I'm going to say it's 600 units or microns, and I'm going to apply it to the image. If I right-click on the image and go to Information, it tells me the size of the pixel. Now that I have calibrated, I want to verify this. So if I go to the barbell and the ruler, I can do a count size. If I put my cross towards an edge and drag it down here, it should be just about 300 units, which exactly it is. Now that I've calibrated this image, I want to save it with the calibration and save it as a TIFF. Now I've saved it. And I would suggest that you take all the calibration images and save these into a folder on your desktop to be able to recall these later if you need to. Another note, if you look in the lower right-hand corner, you see this measurement box. If you double left-click on it, you'll have a pull-down menu with all the objective calibrations that you've saved, and you can apply it to the image. One last note, these are stored in what's called an ipref.cal file in the directory for either Image Pro or QCapture Pro. If I right click on the start menu and I go to Explorer and I'm going to go to, if I can find it, the directory, I'm going to find ipref.cal right here. I'm not going to cut this out. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this again. I would paste this into the folder. The reason I've done this, if you open this, you'll see that it has all the calibration values in there. If ever your system crashes, you want to copy this into the root directory of either Image Pro or QCapture Pro and that will save your calibrations in the future.